uh, so I just popped in general traffic and uh, picked up a rotor arm, distributor cap and a uh, set of points. So that's what I've got here anyway. Uh, I didn't get a condenser because they didn't have one, but uh, the points are actually in that one for some reason. But I've got a couple of sets of old points here. Well, I say old points, I just noticed that one of them's new, not that one. That one. So I need to check the condition of the ones I've got. I might change them anyway, just because they've been on, well, we're in 2023 and they've been on there since about 2017. Uh, here's a set of the old ones. I don't know if you can see. There's a bit of a build up on that. And I think last time I checked, they were starting to get a build up on the other ones. So I've got a set of, uh, so I've got two sets of points now. That old set that can go back in there. And then uh, I also bought a condenser on eBay. And I've also got another condenser as well, which will be the same. So I'm going to do all that at the same time, just to have a fresh, uh, fresh service on this car. But yeah, right now I am going to go home and change the oil on this because it'll have had a nice run out just in uh, Warrington. So it'll be quite a nice run, uh, drop the oil, do that today. I don't think I'll have any time to do anything else today. Uh, and also I'm waiting for air filter, condenser, I'm waiting for, what else am I waiting for? Gasket for the rocker cover, and I'm waiting for some spark plugs. So uh, yeah, that'll probably be next week now, but you'll get to see it all in one video. Shows how much smaller the uh, Escort is than the Capri. Managed to get it quite far over in the garage. Just dry steered it and give, my, give myself all this uh, space to work. That's what I'm trying to say. Sorry, I'm knackered. Just uh, crawling around, I haven't done it for a while. So I'm just gonna get the, uh, I've, I've slackened off the uh, sun bolt now. So I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, let it drain off and go make some food. Right now, as I've been fapping about, I think that's actually drained, so I'm going to pull off the uh, oil filter, just checking out the right one. Got it loose with that. You don't need to see me do that. You've seen me do it before. Right now that's all drained off. I have taken the air cleaner off because it gives me a little bit better excess. And uh, also I'm going to try and clean some of it all up. It's a bit dirty down here. Well, that's interesting. It does have a blue diaphragm in it. I always thought it was going to be black. I was looking for a, a new carb kit for this, so maybe it's had a replacement at some point. Right, as we learnt from a bicycle garage, put the date and the mileage on there.
it's pretty much bob on though we've just been checking this over a few times and i just went pretty slowly with that still quite a bit well there's probably a third left in there so i'll leave it at that crank it over and see where we get to obviously the uh, oil filter is going to have to fill up a bit so we might need topping up So now we got that off, just compare the two caps. You can see uh, there's a slight difference in that centre carbon part. But uh, yeah, this one's much cleaner. That one's, I feel like you can see there's a bit of build up maybe on the, um, on the contacts. There's obviously this one's brand new. So I feel like it's worth changing it because I couldn't get that off. You can see all these score marks I was trying to use a uh, bit of sandpaper to get that off and it's just not coming off so I'm going to keep this as a spare swap it over to this now I just need to make sure I get these in the right order because last time I did this um, I had the problem that it wouldn't start for two days and I'd got it, I've got these the plugs round the wrong way somehow or one out I think so I'm going to take my time and make sure I do that properly right now one thing I've just noticed is this is completely furred up in the middle it's all quite white and uh, gooey. I didn't put anything in there, like any uh, whatever, any kind of lubricant in the past. Also, these boots are kind of it's a little bit corroded in there, so I'm going to just give it a spray. I haven't really got anything to treat it with at the moment, but uh, maybe it's time for a new set of plug leads as well. Annoyingly, they're just a bit more expensive than they used to be. Otherwise, I just would have bought a set and replaced them. But I'm going to just. I'm going to have to WD-40 these for now and then uh, yeah just give it a minute I just need to figure out which way these face so there's like a key there I'm just going to double check this so I don't get it wrong Let's see I don't know if you can see so it only fits one way. You can get it 180 degrees out though. So anyway, so if I turn it upside down, that's the same as this. So each plug lead has to come off and go in that order. Right, so where's plug one? Let's do it that way. Plug one's mm. on this back corner here. Where I'm gonna look at how it goes. There we go. Okay, plug one. Double check it again. Yep. Back 
そうね
So I'm not sure if they've been gapped up right, if I'm honest. That's probably more than enough. So next up, dust cover. where the new rope run goes on. And then the cap goes on. King lead. Alright, pain in the arse that. Um managed to get it on. So, king lead back on. Check all those. Nice and tight. The points again. Put my hat on. Okay, now I need to... these <laughs> so I've just spent a bit of time cleaning up around uh, the spark plugs, which is advised in the uh, the manual, um, only on this engine though, because of uh, the way that it collects crap around the spark plugs. So let's take this off. Also, it's worth taking the air cleaner off and making it movable. Start this end now. And also, again, just take it out carefully because there might be some crap just knocking around and you don't want it dropping inside the engine. Okay, so, that's the colour that we're looking at. Obviously, it's only just started up. So, I'm just going to check the gap on these and then uh, give it a little clean and then put it back in okay so i've reverted back to the manual here it says uh electro gap for the overhead valve engine is 75 mil so i've got my three uh feeler gauges here that add up to 75 mil so if we just check that yeah nice nice with intolerance there Now I don't know a lot about uh, the different colours but I don't think it's too bad. Obviously it's only just started up so what I'm going to do is check all the gaps on the other one, give them a little clean and then go for a drive. So I'll just clean that up a little bit uh, just with a paper towel and uh, also use some carbon cleaner, paper towel it again and um, then check the gap. So that's going back in. Try not knock any crap in there as well. And the reason why I'm not just replacing the spark plugs is realistically it's, they've not done that many miles and also um, I don't think they're that expensive but they're getting a little bit pricey so I might as well just, if these are alright, I might as well just keep the other ones as spares or for the next service. Number one lead. Check at the end of the, uh, the lead before it goes back on. There we 
go. Right then, number two. Sorry, is it number two? Yeah, it's number two. It's also important not to cross thread these because they're not straight, they go in at an angle. So I can imagine it'd be quite easy to cross thread this. Look at all that crap that it's just pulled out on the threads. So they're all back in place. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is just clean up these leads as they're a bit minging. Just looking at these, it's really bizarre how I've rooted it. It's a sense of numbered them all. I'm just going to unplug all these and then uh, clean them down and then put them because uh, number four has loads of strain on it. I don't know why that's happened. Right, so everything's all cleaned up now. It's number... It's that number one. Now you see, number one's massively long. It should be number four. So I'm going to put it on. Try not to go this wrong way around. Number three can go where it was. Number two, same. It's short, it can go where it was. Now where's number four? Four guns up here. So that's short. Actually, I mean, this is still too long, really. I just don't want to. There's only so much of this that I'm going to get wrong, though. I mean, sorry, I'm only going to get right. Swapping two rounds is one thing, but swapping them all around is going to be another. Let me have a think about this. Alright then, so they're all back on. I've actually just swapped a few rounds, so I need to take these off and uh, relabel them. They were just. I don't know why I'd done that in the past, but they, I must have. It might have been from when I got it wrong that time, and it wouldn't start. But one of the shortest ones was on number four, so I swapped them around so there's just less strain on the uh, on the plug wires. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take it for a run round, see if any of that's made any difference, get it up to temperature, and then probably go and have some lunch. Alright, so I've gone out for a little drive, been about 10 minutes or so. Um, it is quite lumpy to drive, it's probably worse than it was before, so maybe I'm going to have to try the points and condensers now, condenser even. But I need to find that timing light first, I'm just going to have a quick look under the bonnet and see what it's sounding like. Yeah, I definitely think it's um, driving better, well, sorry, idling better, it's nice and smooth now. Um, but it's not 
that's moved to drive so I think it must be ignition stuff so I think it's probably time to at least try the condenser maybe that's why the rotor arm was still a bit black even though I'd cleaned it So I found my timing gun. So I'm just going to hook it up and then I'm going to see where we're at. I kind of really need to remark this before uh, I do any more. Right, so this is the old condenser. As you can see, it goes into this noise suppressor here. So I'm just going to try and use that for now, just to test it before I start cutting things and soldering and stuff. Hopefully that'll stretch. Just about fits there. The question is, is it going to start? Fingers crossed. Turn off, tighten up that screw, and then uh, go for a drive. Okay, it's just so, thirty millimeters is where the uh, dwell angle seems to be at the moment, but it should be fifty. So I'm going to swap these points over and then uh, go from there. Alright, points removed. Screw is safe. Use this uh, magnet to make to pull the whole thing out basically. And uh, yeah, the points just go in like that. I would have filmed it but I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to fuck it up. And as you can see the points look a bit nasty. So I'm just going to swap some new ones and hopefully that's going to make it all work. A lot better. That was a bit of a faff. Got it all in there now, so uh, clips up the points again, and I'm just going to put the cap on and make sure it fires. So I'm out and about, took it for a drive, got it up to temperature and uh, with the new points it's driving a lot better but I just had a quick look at the timing and it is I think around TDC so it's obviously quite low I mean that, that's with the vacuum advance plugged in so I just need to go and time this now the other thing is that it's I was going to do it here but I'm out in the countryside and the distributor's all oily and I want to mark it up first so I know where I'm at so I'm going to go home and do that in a bit. Just put myself a timing mark down there. So I'm going to slacken off the distributor, get the um, uh, timing light hooked up and uh, give it a twist. Just to try and finish this off, I've uh, taken the vacuum hose off, plugged it up, 
of the distributor, marked up the distributor down there, I've slackened the bolt on that, I've also marked up the timing on the um, timing scale down here to TDC 4 and 6, all plugged up here ready to go, so I'm just going to fire it up and check it. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of around 4, jumping around a little bit for some reason. It's sounding a lot healthier. Might just try and bring it back a tiny bit, but then lock it up. So, how do we do with the servicing? So, take that off, it says it's broken. Uh, so, that's everything we did so far. Now, um, I'm going to add a few things to this. I've gone around and checked the tyres. They probably do need replacing, but they're not damaged. Um, and they seem okay at the moment. Check the steering joints and all the gaiters, they all seem good. The road wheels are de definitely tight, there's no way of getting them off. Um, I haven't checked the rear brake shoes yet, uh, and the pads were changed not that long ago, so that's the only thing I do need to recheck. But at least it stops nicely, so I'm assuming it's okay. Anyway, uh, valve clearances, yep, we did them. Didn't renew the spark plugs, didn't need doing. Um, it's, yeah, we didn't have to do anything with the crankcase system, really. Uh, didn't need to do that, but I just had a clutch, so that's all good. Um, well, yeah, drive shaft gaiters kind of comes under that. Exhaust, um, yeah, check that. Uh, loop controls and water drain holes, no, I didn't do that. But um, what we did do, uh, which isn't kind of here, I guess. Uh, We've changed the HT leads, which has made a massive difference. This car, even though all this was happening, it still kind of was jogging around like mad. So uh, changing them was a massive change as well. Um, I didn't really think it would make much difference for some reason, but it did. So that's everything done. So uh, yeah, let me know uh, if this was useful at all. Um, you know, I can't imagine many people have got this engine, but hopefully something in this uh, video will be useful to somebody whether it's escort fiesta or just related to anything such as the points um yeah let me know in the comments i hope you've enjoyed this and uh yeah hopefully some more stuff on the way cheers